So in the previous part, we did our texture painting. If you haven't already seen the previous parts, make sure to watch them. But now that we have that all out of the way, we're gonna add a rig or an armature so we can eventually animate or you know pose our cat. So let's make sure that we have our origin point in the center. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go Shift A, we're gonna go to our armature settings and add in a single bone. And what I'm gonna do is with the cat selected and the eyes, make sure to select the eyes as well. With all of the mesh items selected, let's just go over um, under our pivot transform, let's make it um, 3D cursor. And let's just go S and scale the cat up a little bit like this. And let's go Control A and apply that scale. And then we're gonna go and grab the bone. I just find it works better when it comes to the automatic weighting. So with a scale like this, we're now gonna grab this armature and let's actually take this armature while we have it active. And let's go M on our keyboard and go new collection. Let's just call it rig, because it's always good to be organized. And now we have a rig collection that we can turn on and off. And now we're gonna go in to edit mode. Okay, so in our front view, we should see this. In our right orthographic, we should see this. So we're gonna grab this bone. In fact, if you wanna see through, you can just go to your armature settings and you can go over to the viewport display and go in front. And this way you'll always see the bone through the mesh. So now we're gonna grab this. This is gonna be our root bone. So in edit mode, let's now grab this bone. You can press F2 and you can just call it root or you can call it base, whichever one you prefer, but that's our base control bone. And you can now see that that's the name of the bone. If you wanna name the whole system, you can go to the top one here, just a little green man, and you can call it cat rig, like so. So this is the armature and it's the cat rig and inside we have these different bones. So over here we have the base. And now we're gonna build a hierarchy. So with this base bone selected, let's go Shift D to duplicate and Z and move it up. And let's grab this one and point it forward and then move it here in the middle like so. And let's just call this bone over here. You can either come up here and double click on it or you can just come down here and let's call that spine one. And let's come and grab it, I might move it up a little bit. And let's extrude this spine bone to here, like so. And then what we're gonna do is, and then with this new bone, let's go and call that spine two. And now we're gonna take this and we're gonna extrude it out and let's call this the neck. And let's extrude this one out and let's call that the head bone, okay? So these are our bones so far. And then we're gonna take this one here, we're gonna extrude it out towards the back. And let's click on this one and let's call that hip. It's the hip bone. And then we're gonna, with let's just grab this spine bone here and go Shift D to duplicate. Let's go R. So let's just go up here and change our transform pivot back to median point. Then we can rotate the sky like so. And let's just go and call this bone um, body lift. This is what we're gonna be using to kind of like lift the body up and down. You'll understand in a little while. I'm gonna place it kind of right over here, like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our front orthographic. And then we're gonna go Shift A and add in a new bone. So you've got this new bone over here just called bone. And in our front orthographic, we're gonna go G and move it up. And then we're just gonna go R and rotate that around like so, and G to move it down. And then let's just grab this knob, kind of move it here and grab this one here. So it's pointing down. And then let's go back into our right orthographic. And now let's grab this bone and move it forward. And let's call this one our, um, under our bones. Let's just call this front upper arm dot capital L. Now the dot capital L is really important because this is the left side of the character. So it might be your right, but it's actually the left of the character. So dot capital L is super important now from here on. So if I name anything with a dot capital L, make sure to do that because later on, we're gonna need that to do the automatic mirroring and automatic naming for the other side. So now we're gonna take this knob and go E to extrude and Z and extrude it down. And then here in the side, let's just move this over here and then move this one kind of back and down a little bit like this. So this is kind of what the arrangement we're trying to go for here. Okay, and let's grab this bottom one and let's call this front lower arm dot capital L and make sure that it's dot capital L, not dot zero zero one afterwards. So it's 
front lower arm dot capital L. And then let's go E to extrude and extrude the paw. And let's just call this paw dot capital L. And then let's grab this nub over here. And in our right view, we're going to go E to extrude, extrude it out. Let's grab this guy and go Alt P and go clear parent. And then let's call this one um, front leg underscore AK, IK dot capital L. So this is going to be our IK bone. So dot capital L. So front leg underscore IK dot capital L. And this one we've disconnected. And now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go into our pose mode. And inside of edit mode, you're going to select your IK bone. And holding in shift, you're going to select the lower leg bone. And then you're going to go control shift C or command shift C. And then you're going to go and give this an inverse kinematic. So once again, you select this one and holding in shift, select this one. And then control shift C and go inverse kinematic. Then you're going to select this lower arm bone and you're just going to go to the, or is it the bone one? Yeah, go to the bone constraints down here. And then you're just going to increase the chain length. So if you grab this IK and you go G to move it, it controls two bones. So make it go up to two, so with the chain. So if you now grab this IK and you go G to move it, it grabs or influences these two bones up the chain. So if you do move anything, just make sure to go Alt G, Alt R with that bone selected just to reset the transforms. So there we have that. So now let's go back into edit mode and let's just grab these guys and just move them in the middle a little bit more like so, there we go. Okay. And then with this bone here, the upper arm bone, we're going to hold and shift and select this um, bone over here, the spine. And we're going to go control P and we're going to go keep offset. And then we're going to grab this main control bone here for the top, we're going to hold and shift and select the bottom one, the base bone, and go Control P and go keep offset. So now this one is parented to this one. And then we're going to grab these, this collection of bones over here that we have. And we're going to go Shift D in our right orthographic view, move it back so we can reuse it like so. And now let's just rename. So let's grab this top bone and let's go to our bones down here. And let's just go and call it back. So back upper arm dot capital L. So get rid of the stuff on the end. We just want dot capital L. Select the bottom or the middle one here and let's go to um, back lower arm dot capital L. So it's back lower arm dot capital L. And then select this paw and let's just make it paw. And let's just call it the back paw. So it's back paw dot capital L. And let's grab this IK and let's just call it back leg underscore IK dot capital L, like so. So all of these so far have the dot capital L extension. The reason the ones in the middle don't is because they're not getting mirrored. We only have them in the middle, but anything out from there needs to have that extension. It's gonna be really important as well when it comes to animating this character. So for now, let's just go grab this bone over here and holding and shift select this bone here. And while we've still got shift held in, we're gonna select this bone over here and go control P and we're gonna go keep offset. So this is our top bone that we called body lift. So if you now go into our pose mode, we should be able to grab this bone here and go G and move it. And you can see this is what happens like that. Okay, how cool is that? And then if we grab this bone here and we go G, all of these should go along like so. But there are still a few things I don't really like. For example, what's happening to the paw bones here. So let's just go back into edit mode and let's select these paw bones. And with this one here, let's just go with it select, go Alt P and let's go clear the parent. And then while we have it still active, we're gonna hold and shift and select the IK bone and go Control P and we're gonna go keep offset. And let's grab this um, paw here and go Alt P and clear the parent. And then while we have it active, select its IK while you're holding in shift and then go control P and then go keep offset. So now if we go into pose mode, we grab this and we move it. We should see that isn't the issue anymore. And we can now also grab this and rotate the pull. And we should be able to grab this. And one more thing we need to do is just press A to select everything. Go Alt G, Alt R, Alt S just to reset transforms. And in edit mode, let's just also grab these IK bones. And while we're holding in shift, select the main base bone and go control P and then go keep offset. Okay. So now let's also grab this and move this one up over here to hip. 
like that. And then we're gonna go E to extrude and let's just extrude along the tail a few times like this, all the way to the end. And if you want, you can kind of make it line up with the segments of the tail. But I'm just gonna go with something like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just select this nub here and go E to extrude. And let's just call this one tail underscore IK. It doesn't need an extension. And let's go Alt P and let's go clear parent. And then what we need to do is we need to go into pose mode. And then we're gonna go and select this bone over here, that new IK we've created, tail underscore IK. Holding and shift select this bone over here that's two bones down. And then go control shift C or command shift C and then go inverse kinematics. Then select this bone that's turned yellow, go to your constraints and then change it up. So we want one, two, three, four bones. So let's give this a value of four. So now if we grab this and we go G to move it, you can see we can control the tail like so. How cool is that with the IK? Another thing we can do though is just in our edit mode, select this bone here and while you're holding and shift, select the IK and then go control P, keep offset. So now if we go into pose mode, okay, now we can have a bit more control like that, okay? So now we have a way of controlling the cat's tail a little bit, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna press A to select everything, Alt G, Alt R, just reset those transforms. And we also may just need to grab this IK over here, and while we're holding and shift, select this um, top body bone and go Control P and then go Keep Offset. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of complicated constraints, but they're not really that complicated once you understand them. So in our front orthographic view, we're just gonna select all of these bones here on the side, the leg ones, and we're gonna to go to armature, and then we're gonna to go to symmetrize. And now they've been mirrored over on this side, and you can see that they've all been automatically named. If we go over here to the bottom, they've all been named automatically dot capital R, and we don't have to go and set them up as well. They've also copied all of the constraints over. So look at this now, that's really, really fun. Yeah. That is kind of a really successful rig so far. We can control all of these individually. Um, let's go a little bit further. I'm noticing an issue here. Uh, maybe what we'll have to do is just grab this tail IK, holding and shift select a hip, then go control P and then go keep offset. And now if we were to rotate that hip, we shouldn't have the same issue. So we can rotate the hip and then still maneuver the tail. Okay, that's working really cool. Okay, so now I guess we could also add some eye controls just for the eyes at least. And then we'll probably be done with this rig for now. So this is actually a lot easier than you might think, but to make it even simpler, let's just go back into object mode and let's actually hide the rig for now. And let's select these eyes that we've created, okay? So let's go to the mirror modifier and let's go ahead and apply it. Then we're gonna tab into edit mode and with both of these selected, you're gonna hit P and you're gonna separate it by loose parts. So now both of them are their own object, but the origin point on the other one is messed up. So let's grab the eye over here on the side and let's go F3 and type in origin and let's go origin to geometry. In fact, let's just grab the other one just to be sure and go F3 and also go origin to geometry. And now both of them have their own origin point. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna select the eye on the left of the cat and we're gonna go shift S and we're gonna go cursor to selected. And then let's bring back our rig and then go select a cat rig and let's go into edit mode. And then we're gonna go shift alt to add in a bone and with this nub at the top selected, let's go G and Z and bring it down. Let's go to our pivot transform and make it 3D cursor. And in our front view, we're just gonna go R and rotate it like so. And then we're gonna go S, Z, zero and flatten it on the Z. And now it's perfectly flat. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our bone properties and let's call that one I dot capital L. And then let's go shift D and then Y and move on forward and scale it a bit. And let's change the pivot transform back to median point and go S to scale it just to make it smaller, like so. And let's just call this one I underscore look at dot capital L. Okay, 
And then what we're going to do is with both of these bones here selected, we're going to hold in shift and select this head over here and then go control P and let's go keep offset. And now what we can do is we can actually select both of these bones and we can go armature and we can go symmetrize. And now they're symmetrized on this side and they also have the proper naming. And now we simply have to go into pose mode and let's select this um, look at dot capital L holding and shift select your eye. Let's go control shift C and let's go um, damped track. So now if you grab this one and move it, you can see that follows along. Let's do the same over here. Select this one, holding and shift select this one, control shift C and let's go damped track. And now we have a way of controlling our eyes. Now obviously the eyes aren't connected to it yet, but we have this rig in place. And if we were to grab the head, that all goes along with it. Another thing we can do just for a little bit of easier animation is just select both of these in edit mode and then go shift S and then go cursor to select it. So it adds it in the middle. Then go shift A, add in a bone right in the middle and then grab both of these look at bones and holding in shift select this one and go control P, then go keep offset and then select, grab this master control here and holding in shift select the head and then go control P, then go keep offset. So now this one, we're gonna name that master icon. So that's the main eye control. So now in pose mode, instead of grabbing both of these like so, we can grab this one bone and they both go like that at the same time. So I think this is all starting to work out really good. And I can notice we have a parenting issue here. So these back ones shouldn't be. So let's just quickly go into edit mode. Let's just grab these two back upper bones for the leg and holding in shift, let's just select the hip and go control P and go keep off offset. And now in pose mode, if we grab these hips, now those ones should go like that. If you grab this, these ones should go along like that. Cat should kneel. Okay, everything is starting to look really, really good. So now a few more important things. We wanna take all of these control bones like the eye case here and we wanna go over to the bone properties. And for those ones, we wanna turn off deform. That's really important. So grab this IK here as well. Turn off deform. This one here, turn off deform. This one over here. And then the main bone down here, we wanna go ahead and turn off deform. And then the main bone up here, we wanna go ahead and turn off deform because it's just a control bone. It's not actually deforming the mesh. And then these guys over here, all of them, we want to turn off to deform. So the eye bones, the look at bones, we want to turn off deform for them as well. Also the main look at, we want to turn off deform for that. And then the tail IK bone, we want to turn off deform for that. And I think that's about it. The other bones all need to be doing some sort of deformation. So let's go back into object mode. Let's make sure to save. And here we have our cat rig that we can be proud of. So in the next video, which is gonna be part six, we're gonna go ahead and do some weight painting. And we're actually gonna connect this to our um, cat so we can actually control the mesh of the cat.